Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do your reading next for the month of October. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. This reading is a general reading. It's not a private reading. So I ask you to take what resonates and leave the rest, and keep in mind that this reading is for October. Okay? So yeah, the timing is fluid. It's being recorded in September, but it's geared for the month of October. Okay? We are going to start right here. What do we have for Pisces for the month of October? What do we have for Pisces? You know, I see the world card, so that's a new beginning. That's a completion of one cycle of your life, a completion of a phase, uh, stepping into a whole new world, um, completing something very significant, okay? Some sort of lesson, okay? Because the world is a lesson learned, okay? It's a final a final completion. It's the end, okay? Because the world is the last card in the deck, which means a traveler has traveled the whole journey and they've reached the end. So you got the end. You're at the end of a phase, and you are starting um, a new life. By the looks of things, uh, you can chalk that one up to a successful completion because that is it, had, it was a success because you learned something from it, whatever it was. Um, yeah. So we have a major new beginning here, major universally driven because. That's a universe card. The world is. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So that's your angel romance card. So make the effort. Um, what else do we have for Pisces? Ooh. This says why, why, like why, 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 why. We're going to leave it upright. I'm going to read it and we're going to see what happens. It came out reversed, but we're going to see what happens. Um, it's number 31, which equals four. So number 31. Motives driving intention. The power of knowing the why. There is great power in understanding your motives right now. The, or, this oracle asks you to be very clear about why you are asking this question. Looking for this answer. Behaving in this way. And most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it and then act on it. This is invisible. This is this invisible why is the life force energy within the seed which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if, if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. Pisces. Take action. Stop asking why. Take action. That is what I see. Make the effort. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. What does your heart want? Follow your heart, please. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces for October? What do we got for Pisces? Woo! Ace of Swords. Speak. Speak your truth. This is the raw truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Get to the point. Speak up. This is the overall energy of this reading. Communication. Speak. Honest. Truthful. Communication. Be open. This is a wake-up call. 
This is an awakening. <laughs> Four of Pentacles reversed. No, it's the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. It's not receiving. Not somebody isn't isn't reciprocating. They're not speaking. They're they're not. Which is causing an imbalance. It's causing disharmony. Honest, truthful communication needs to be had to find harmony, to find peace, to receive the balance that you need. So, the chariot reversed. We got somebody here who can't master their emotions. Somebody, and, and this can go vice versa. You could be dealing with, when I'm speaking, this could be a person that you are dealing with. Somebody is not reciprocating. They're not moving forward. They're not mastering their emotions. They're probably not being truthful. They may, I, I don't know. Somebody needs to speak the truth. That is the overall energy of this whole month. Okay. We have somebody here that has is letting fear get in the way of success. Right here. They're not getting what they deserve. And there, there's a lot of disharmony. And there's a loss of self even over not getting what you deserve. Because there's a lack of truth by the looks of things. Ooh. Somebody's not following their heart. What the hell? We got somebody here that is closed off emotionally. May see themselves as a victim. Oh, I'm a victim here. I'm a victim. Let go of that. Let go of that. So you're not a victim. Nobody is a victim. You're not a victim. You have the power to change things. You can change anything. Seriously. This is the sort of power as well. With communication. With truth. Things change. When you don't communicate, when you withhold communication, I know what this is. When you withhold, when you try to prove a point, that's not going to make anything successful. It's not. You have to open your heart fully and you have to communicate. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, whether it's you or the cross watcher or, or the person you're dealing with, we have somebody here that is withholding it's like they're it's like they're trying to punish another person by, by withholding. That is not going to bring any success. And it's definitely not going to bring harmony and peace into a situation. Knight of Wands reverse. This is not taking action. We have somebody here that is not taking any action. They're thinking too much. Um, they're withholding love. Somebody is withholding love because they can't master their emotions. <clears throat> maybe this person feels like I can't love right now I can't love this person is kind of down in the dumps um, things may have come to a complete halt things are feeling a little up in the air right now I feel as though we have somebody here that may be, be feeling like they are a victim okay you can that's a feeling okay somebody may be feeling like they are a victim they can't take any action there's nothing they can do um but there is emotional support here. There's a fresh start for you. But you got to let go of your need to control. And you need to um, give yourself time to heal from something. Um, it feels as though healing is needed. Okay, the temperance reverse. It's not time to take any action right now. If you are feeling like you're not loved or if your heart has been broken. And you, it may not be time. It may not be time. Maybe you need to take time to deal with whatever it is that has come to a complete halt. I mean, the chair at reverse, it's like the brakes have been put on. Uh, something has come to a complete halt, and you may feel like uh, you can't take any action because you need time to heal. Um, you need time to figure out what the reason is, what the purpose is, and that is why why is here. Why did this happen? Why, 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 why? And this, it, it, I feel like we have somebody here that has a victim mentality. I just got to be honest with you. If you were to look up the Queen of Cups in reverse, you might agree okay so but obviously a lot of queen of cups might not agree with that because they don't want to hear nobody wants to hear bad shit about themselves but anyhow i feel as though we have somebody here that is asking that question about why 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 and there is a reason that you may not see perhaps it's time for you to begin again perhaps it's time for you to travel to a new place maybe it's time for you to start over start with a clean slate 
I feel as though something has is come to a complete halt because it is time for you to explore this unknown territory, right? But you may need still before you jump into this unknown territory, you may need a time out. You may need to take a break to deal with something, okay? Because it feels like um, healing is needed. Things are definitely up in the air and unbalanced right now with this card and this card. Things are, there's disharmony. Somebody's dealing with some disharmony. And I think a lot of it has to do within themselves, within their heart. There's some sort of um, disharmony within their heart because it's like somebody's not honoring their truth. They're not honoring their truth. And it's because they're trying to prove a point. There's a point at the end of that sword. And I'm telling you right now, when you try to prove a point and you don't follow your heart, it's going to continue to uh, cause disharmony within you. Okay? So, we have a fresh new beginning here. Um, but in order to have this new beginning, you're going to have to have faith. And this is lack of faith. And this is needing to have faith. Faith is big here. you got to have faith in what your heart wants. you got to believe in what your heart wants. It feels as though this is um, sending a message of love. So whether you're sending the message of love or somebody is sending it to you, you may be receiving a loving, kind message from somebody or you may be the one delivering it. I don't know. Three of Pentacles, this is not putting in effort, not working on it, not willing to compromise, you know, and it's connected to the Queen of Cups. So I'm wondering, I don't know who this is, but we have somebody here, and this is Pisces. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but we're doing a reading for Pisces. This person is not willing to communicate. This person is not willing to compromise, and it's causing upheaval. It's causing upheaval. So I feel like there's a lack of communication, absolutely, that is that is coming through that is causing a lot of disharmony. And I know that I'm repeating myself, but it's very clear. Somebody is not taking action, and it's like because they're trying to prove something, but they have an opportunity to start over here, to start with a clean slate, and probably work together. But in order to do that, they're going to have to master their emotions and speak up. There's an opportunity for happiness here. Extreme happiness. Some of you may be considering moving to a warmer place. Um, I happen to notice this wheel. And this is the sun, but this is a wheel. So this is kind of, this is, I, I, I really feel like it has to do with life change, something big. You, your life is changing, and I think it's changing for the better. It's changing for the better. But... But the wheel is spinning, okay? The wheel is spinning in your favor, but you can't try to hinder it. Don't hinder it. Allow it. Go with the flow. I feel as though you have a big, bright opportunity opening up for you. I think it may be in another destination. The world is a destination card. The chariot is a destination card. The fool is a destination card. And this this wheel of fortune is a destination. And this is a sun, but it does have the wheel. So I'm, you know, whatever is happening is good. But you may be trying to be, you may be blocking your good fortune by not communicating, by not honoring your truth, by not following your own path, by not following your heart. There's absolutely an opportunity for happiness here. Big, 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 big happiness. But you, you need to find a way to master your emotions and not block this happiness, not block this fresh new start. Um, you do have a new beginning here, and this not new beginning is bright it's big it's beautiful it really is um but it feels like you're 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 wishy-washy well that is pisces right you're wishy-washy about it you're like a little scared of it you know you're a little scared to step into this unknown territory by yourself the fool starts the journey by him or herself on your own okay that is the truth Okay, you start at zero, you start at zero, you start from scratch by yourself. Okay, so I feel as though we have somebody here that is probably um, about to start on a new journey by themselves in a better place. They're going to a better place where there's more warmth, there's more happiness, there's more sun, it's, there's, more, there's more sunlight, you know, you see more sunlight, there's uh, more daylight perhaps, I, I don't know how that works out, but <laughs> anyway, it's, it's very sunny, okay, it's very, it's very happy, it's a very positive place, but you have to, uh, 
You might have to make some compromises, okay? You might have to change some things. You might have to you may have to work with people that you don't really want to work with, people that you don't work well with to get out of whatever this is that that you are that you've been dealing with. There may be a need to um let go of some things. Maybe you need to let go of the, some things that are holding you back. You know, maybe there's possessions here that are holding you back. It, it, to hell with the possessions. Follow your heart. Happiness is not what's in your bank account. And I know a lot of people don't believe that. But that is the truth. Happiness is not what you can see. Happiness comes from within. So, I feel like we have somebody here that is, is is has an opportunity to start fresh in a new place, but they're going to have to let go of some things and follow their heart, for real. It's just time to be happy again. The Five of Swords reverse, it's much better in reverse. It's time for you to be happy again. It's time to let go of this emptiness. You ain't got nothing to prove, right? You ain't got nothing to prove to anybody. Follow your heart at this time, please. So, this is the end of conflict to the Five of Swords reversed. I, I, don't, I don't need to be right. I just want to be happy. I don't, I don't need to win. I just want to be happy. So, Pisces, I feel as though this is a month of, of starting over. Starting from scratch. Maybe some of you are moving. Dealing with the question of why and accepting that everything happens for a reason. There is a purpose. You are headed to a much better situation. That is no joke. That is no joke. I feel like this isn't a time for you to jump into anything. Allow yourself time to feel and accept and heal from whatever this is. You are going to be receiving emotional support from somebody um, let them, let them help you. Let them, let them, um, console you, whatever it is. Um, open up. I feel as though you are going to receive some sort of idea or thought that gives you some sort of, um, opening. It's like, it's time to go. It's time to go somewhere. When you receive this thought, listen to it. Listen to it because you have a you have a new beginning here that is meant to be. You are going to be starting over with somebody else or someplace else. That's what I got. Good luck.